Alright guys, welcome back. So when we last left off, we had this cool little explosion effect when you flew into an asteroid like that. A little explosion happens, all well and good. Today we're going to be looking at kind of finishing off this uh, game over state by just creating some text on the screen that just neatly says game over and press R to restart. I demonstrated what it would look like at the beginning of the last video, and that's what we're going to do today. So until now, um, the only text we've ever drawn to the screen has been this little number here on the top left of the screen, this little zero that increases as we blow up more asteroids, which is all well and good. Um, but because we've never actually put any of our own fonts into GameMaker, um, it's just using the default uh, font, which looks kind of ugly, to be honest. And there's just this little number like that. Uh, we're going to want to draw some kind of fancier looking text today, so we're going to set up uh, a couple of new fonts. And we're going to use those fonts to just draw some text to the screen whenever you lose the game. I've just quickly gone ahead and edited my game maker preferences to make the icons in the resource tree bigger, which I just thought might be more useful for you guys in the video. Um, you can do that by going to File, Preferences, and where is it? Big resource tree icons over here, in case you prefer the look of that. I generally prefer the smaller ones when I'm working, so that's generally why it's always like that. But for the sake of the video, I figured I would do this for you guys. Speaking of the resource tree, the first thing we're actually going to do is create some new resources. We're going to create two new fonts. We're going to create a bigger font and a smaller font. So I'm going to go ahead and right click in font and go to create font. And we'll get this font zero. And we'll call this FNT underscore um, small. We'll do the small one first. Um, the font I'm going to use, you can find it on dafont.com along with loads of other cool, awesome free fonts. Um, it's just a cool little pixel font called. Where is it? Visitor, TT1, BRK. Just a little pixel font. Um, because it's like a pixel font, and because it's like built around like sharp edges, I'm going to set anti-aliasing to off, so that it doesn't anti-alias, and like because it would kind of blur the edges, and that would, it's not really what we want. I'm going to set to size 20, okay? Um, yeah, that's all we really need for this one. So I'm going to click OK there, FNT underscore small, and I'm going to right click and go to insert font again. And F and T underscore large this time. I'm going to select that same font, uh, visitor TTT, -t -t, uh, TT1, BRK, and I'm going to set to 48. You can use whatever font you like. I'm just using two that I know kind of look good for me because the next thing I want to do is set the anti aliasing to zero again. So I'm just going to quickly turn that off. And also, uh, an interesting thing to note is you can set which font ranges or what, what characters you want to copy from the font. Because every font you store is going to store all of those letters in like texture memory and that, so you don't want to take everything where you don't need it. Uh, we're only going to use this larger font for drawing letters, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to clear all here, so I've cleared it so we don't actually have any letters from it so far, and then go to add, to add a font range. And I'm going to click letters down here, so it's going to bring in all the different letters. Um, but like no numbers because we're never going to need to use the large font to draw a number. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm also going to add the exclamation mark in case I might want to use that for like game over exclamation mark or whatever I guess. So you, And you can add any specific letters or characters you want to use into there. I'm going to click OK and you can see it's copied 33 to 33 which is uh, the exclamation mark and also 65 to 112. And you can test it out just by like drawing stuff in there as well. So now that we have those fonts, we're going to use them to draw some text to the screen. So in objects, I'm going to right click and hit create object and create obj underscore game over. And it's just going to be an object that we're going to make appear whenever we lose the game and it's going to draw game over to the screen and press R to restart underneath it. Simple as that. The only event we actually need in obj underscore game over is the draw event. So I'll right click in events, go to add event and select the draw event, just the draw event, not any of the other crazy different draw events. Then go ahead and go to control and drag in execute code, pretty much as we always do, right? So the draw event, I may have explained this before, but I'll go over it again because this is the your first game series. Uh, the draw event generally occurs for every object, uh, every single frame, just like the step event does. Um, if you don't define a draw event, then an object still has a draw event where it just draws itself. And by creating the draw event, by adding a draw event to an object, you're replacing the default draw behavior of that object where it would just draw its own sprite to wherever it is on the screen. Obviously this object doesn't have a sprite or anything like that, so we're not really replacing anything, we're just creating um, a draw step for this object where it will draw the text to the screen. And anything you want to ever generally do with drawing stuff, you generally have to do in the draw event. 
So here's how we do that. First thing I'm going to do is set the horizontal alignment of our text just as you would like in a word editor when you'd set like a horizontal alignment. So here's how we do that. I'm going to set draw set hlign open bracket uh, fa underscore center. Now how did I know it was fa underscore center was the right constant? Well if you middle click draw set hlign or just in the index go to draw set hlign in the help menu um, it'll bring up this page and it lists the constants here that you can use fa underscore left, fa underscore center, and fa underscore right. And there's a similar one for vertical align, which is fa top, middle, and bottom that you use for aligning text, okay? Just put one of those three words into the bracket to decide which alignment you want. The next thing we want to do is draw set the align to fa underscore middle, which is the, the vertical equivalent of fa underscore center, to vertically align to the center. Then we want to set our font, which is draw underscore set underscore font, uh, fnt underscore large, and you see that turns red because it recognizes the font that we created earlier. Go on. Then draw underscore set underscore color, uh, in brackets c underscore white. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of simple constants for setting colors, which are generally c underscore and then the name of the color. Um, you can also set colors in various other ways, like saying using RGB values and things like that, but that kind of goes beyond the scope of this tutorial. So after that, all we need to do is actually draw the text to our screen. So I'm going to say draw underscore text, and now we need to provide the X coordinate for the text, which wants to be in the center of our room. So I'm going to say room underscore width divided by two. So the full width of the room, full width of the room divided by two, that gives us the center of the room here. Yeah? And the same goes to the y coordinate. Room underscore height divided by two. But we don't want it to be exactly there. Actually, uh, naturally, yeah, for this one we do. We're going to put it exactly in the center and we'll put the other text below it. I think that makes more sense. Okay. So, room, room width over two, room height over two, dead center of the room, those coordinates. And then the actual text we want to just draw is going to be game over. Okay, simple. And close with a bracket. Semicolon. Then the next thing we want to do is draw the smaller text underneath. We're just going to draw uh, press R to restart. So I'm going to say draw set font, this time to fnt underscore small. Let me go on. And then right draw underscore text. Again, room underscore width over 2. Uh, and room underscore height over 2, but this time also plus 50, so it's 50 pixels further down, otherwise we'd just be drawing text on top of the other text, right? And that wouldn't be good. And then the text we're going to draw here is just going to be press R to restart, exclamation mark, semicolon. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Um, there's an interesting consequence of setting this, uh, setting the FNT underscore small to be our font second, and you'll see what that is um, when we run the game later. I click OK and save that for now. Click OK there. The only thing we actually need to do now is actually create this object um, when we lose the game, right? So go into obj underscore asteroid now, uh, where we have the collide event with the player. And double click, piece of code. Um, so down here, just before we destroy, um, just before we destroy the player object, um, we're going to create our game over object. So I'm going to say instance underscore create. Uh, X and Y coordinate is irrelevant, so I'm going to say 0, 0. OBJ underscore game over. Semicolon. Simple, yeah? And that's it. That's really all there is to it. So, yeah, go ahead, save that now. If I run the game. So all I have to do now is collide with asteroid. Boom. Game over. Press R to restart works. Okay, the only other thing I wanted to point out is you'll have noticed, uh, actually, you'll notice if I run the game from here, you can see that this number here is still in the default game, game maker text, the score. But if I go and crash into an asteroid now, you can see it suddenly changed font to be this, uh, to be FNT underscore small, the same font as we've set here. And that's because in our draw step, we set the font to be FNT large, we draw the text, and then we set the, the font to be small. But that font is set like globally in Game Maker. So whenever you draw a text after setting this command, um, that text will be drawn in that font. 
So, um, before we create game over, um, where our obj underscore score is drawing text to the screen, drawing the number of points we have to the screen, um, it's drawing in the default game maker font because no font has been set yet. But after that game over thing gets created, suddenly there's a font set, so it's using the font that was set. Okay, so in order to kind of fix that bug, we and we kind of want a nice font for the text uh, for the, uh, the score anyway. I'm going to say draw underscore set underscore font fnt underscore small in obj underscore score. So now when we run the game, we should see it's just consistently that um, font now. Yep, it's that font up there. I'll blow things up, and it's a little bit more attractive than it was before. And as before, there's our game over screen. All working as expected. Um, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will catch you guys on part 10. See you guys.